What's going on guys? Free Darkness here bringing you some Modern Warfare 3 gameplay and speaking about the new Nintendo Wii U gamepad. Now many of you have seen the prototype before and it looked a lot like an actual pad like a tablet and in this case the final version of the gamepad for the Wii U still looks like a tablet but looks a lot better and it's that's great for me because personally when I first saw it I thought that that would be terribly uncomfortable to be holding in your hands if you're playing for more than like an hour so what they've done is that they actually made it less flat by making a concord such as a normal controller such as a PS3 the Xbox or the classic controller pro is contoured to your hand they actually made it so it's more concord and they actually changed the button mapping the actual position of the buttons are now instead of a linear pattern like they were on the prototype are actually at an angle so they're more comfortable and easier to reach just like on an actual controller itself and they actually changed the thumbstick as before it was not a thumbstick it was actually a much more annoying flat uh, thumb, dr thumb disc such as the one you would find on a Nintendo DSi or a PSP and, and I actually do prefer these as yes they're a, li a little more bigger of course but they also add more controllability I mean a lot of people do much better with the uh, control freaks because it adds just more height to the actual what you're actually controlling so of course this being an actual thumbstick is going to make it so much easier for you to play and it's going to add a lot of controllability and it's going to feel more comfortable when playing. Now it also it, it features a 6.2 inch touch sensitive screen and a fully independent infrared TV remote which is really awesome because I've always like I, I enjoy my remote but it's not a touchscreen remote if I want to see a TV guide I can look it up on my phone or I can like actually click a button on the remote and if I want to turn on my Wii I need to turn on my Wii and my TV before I can actually play this you can turn on your TV your Wii same time or you can just use your gamepad as an actual uh, remote for your TV look at the TV guide right on the touch screen search individual channels you know with the keyboard and everything and you can actually type and send messages to friends through the actual keyboard which is really really cool and I'm really really liking this it also has a it also has gyro sensors and motion uh, sensors uh, to allow for you know motion controls which is great because I'm glad they still have motion controls on the Wii it's what makes it really really fun and basically yeah it's just like a completely updated from the prototype version we saw like last year which is great because it actually does look much better if you ask me aesthetically and I have, I've yet to get my hands on it but I can imagine it also feels much more comfortable it also features a NFC reader which uh, is a near field communications reader that allows it to be used as a TV remote and it also allows uh, it allows you to read and write data from cards and figures which is pretty interesting to see how that would be played and you know they uh, they basically did improve it a lot and made it they actually have been listening to their actual users and well not users but um, customers and audience and it's great that they've actually changed this because personally I always wanted it to be such as the concept they actually got now so anyways hope you enjoyed and thank you for uh, watching the actual video and leave a like if you did enjoy it and if you haven't feel free to check out my previous video which also co covered the e3 Weavers. so uh, go ahead and check it out and pretty dark yourself